All right, so remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we are doing uh, the derivative, remember we talked about the sum, as also we talked about the, uh, we talked about sum and difference, as well as we talked about um, trigonometric. So therefore, if I'm going to say f prime of theta, we can look at that as f prime of 4 sine of theta minus f prime of, um, of theta. Well, again, remember we can take out our constant. And I'm showing a lot of work, which you really will not need to do. OK. So in this case, um, first of all, if we have the uh, derivative of sine is just going to be cosine. So that's times 4. So we have 4 times cosine of theta. Theta, remember, ladies and gentlemen, is just like a variable, right? It's just like x to the first power or so forth. Um, it's really like theta to the first power. So therefore, that's just going to be minus 1. So therefore, f prime of theta is just going to equal 4 cosine of theta minus 1. So I showed a lot of the properties because that's what we talked about. But you could easily go from here down to here without having to show in all those steps. But I'm just trying to, re I'm just trying to um, connect what properties